Cheers! Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, it's Jose here welcoming you to another episode of Amazing Worlds, where today I am going to be reviewing Kill or Be Killed by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, which here is presented in this massive hardcover, complete deluxe, everything in edition, which actually I don't think it's got as many extras as it could have relative to the original 20 issue series but I'm not going to complain it was a present from my friend Jose who runs a comic book shop here in Spain he bought it in English thinking he could read it that's how he couldn't so he gave it to me for free so thank you Jose and um, let's get into the review Kill or Be Kill was written by Ed Brubaker who made his name uh, writing for basically every superhero you care to name, Batman, the Devil, Captain America, all sorts of stuff. Won the Eisner Award, so the Oscar for comics on several different occasions. But for me, his better work is done in the noir, black, crime uh, genre. And a few of his works to highlight that would be Gotham Central, which is an interesting take on the Gotham Police Department trying to solve crimes with Batman sort of playing a very, very minor role in the background there. So the police is trying to get on with the work and it's Batman annoying and getting in the way and stuff like that. But anyway, Gotham Central and also uh, a whole series of different graphic novels with Sean Phillips, so like Fatal, Criminal, The Fade Out and Kill or Be Kill. Sean Phillips, a uh, British artist, met him a few times, super kind, nice guy. Uh, he's done some work on Batman, but uh, prominently for me, he was the main artist in the first hundred issues of the Hellblazer series uh, there and his collaborations with Ed Brubaker. I mean, to the point where Ed Brubaker, back in 2013, got an offer from Image Comics whereby they would publish anything he wrote without having to pitch it, without having to present his idea. Whatever you write, Ed will run with it. And this is one of uh, those works, Kill or Be Killed. So what's the premise? Oh, here we go. Kill or Be Killed starts with a 20-something-year-old student in New York who attempts suicide, fails, so survives, and then is accosted by a demon which asks him to, in exchange for his soul, he needs to deliver a soul every month. Otherwise, the demon will come back and claim him. So, our protagonist, Dylan, turns into a must vigilante type thing because he decides if he is going to be killing someone once a month at least let it be someone that deserves it so he becomes some sort of justice warrior type thing although that term these days got connotations by the way so he goes around and he starts killing pedophiles drug dealers that kind of stuff whatever and then the thing is a little bit convoluted because he ends up um getting involved with Russian mafia and human trafficking and, and stuff like that. Anyway, so, so that's the plot. Now, you've got the supernatural element there of the demon. Is it real? Is it not real? Because it wasn't very subtle, was it? Like, Dylan already starts the book trying to commit suicide. So we have the whole unreliable narrator thing going on. Is it, is it not? Anyway, so it was a, a thought. It was a little bit too much on the nose. Um, you sort of maybe perhaps I got a sense that I've read this story before. But nonetheless, I did enjoy it. I It, it wouldn't be a super great 10 out of 10, 5 star reading, but possibly a solid 3.5 slash 4, a 7. Um, on the... Art on the, on, the, on the 
art side of things. I mean, Sean Phillips, I really, really loved what he did in, in Hellblazer. And I think his art style for this kind of story uh, is, is, is a perfect match. I mean, you know, these guys have written four or five massive graphic novels uh, because you know, it's a great partnership, Brubaker's writing and themes with uh, Phillips' style. However, however, in some pages, in some panels, I found that the heads and bodies of some of the characters were a little bit out of proportion. There was something funny going on. Sometimes the head looked a bit too big for the body. I, I don't know. So something went a little bit funny with the proportions, which I never ever got a sense at all in the however many, almost 100 issues of Hellblazer that Phillips uh, drew. So, so I don't understand quite well what happened here. So, having said that, like I said, the art and, and, the, and the story go very well hand in hand, and I won't spoil uh, the ending here. Suffice to say that rights for a movie adaptation have been acquired with, uh, I'll put the name here, the director of the John Wick movie. So, you know, Again, there's a theme there, John Wick, must vigilante crime type thing. I haven't seen the John Wick movies, but maybe, you know, if there have been three of them, the guy knows what he's doing. So, all in all, I might recommend it if you like that sort of thing. It's, it's mostly like kind of like a different take on the must vigilante sort of thing. But there's nothing overly new, there's nothing overly exciting uh, to call home about in this comic. Um, there is some sort of social commentary. Uh, this was published originally in 2016, I believe. So, the times in, in America, what was, what was going on socially with the presidency and stuff like that. It's not there all the time, it's not upfront. Brubaker doesn't really position himself overly clear on one side or the other, but it is, it sort of trickles, it sort of permeates a little bit the story. So if you're trying to find comics or a story to run away from that, maybe perhaps this one is not for you, although like I said, it's not overly in your face type thing. But anyway, uh, this is my review of Kill or Be Kill by the team of Edward Baker and, and Sean Phillips. Um, I am curious to, to, to read a couple more uh, and certainly uh, Gotham Central is something I've always for the last couple of years been wanting to, to get involved with but otherwise my TBR list will, will be never ending and I'm not entirely sure I can afford that or that I've got the time for that but anyway this is all I've got for today thank you as usual ever so much for watching please like and subscribe and the like thing is even optional you can dislike I'm used to it but please tell me why where is it that you dislike where is it that you disagree what are your thoughts, takes, opinions, anything of the sort. Anyway, as usual, thank you very time for watching. Take loads and loads of care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!